What's going on everybody? Car Guy V8 here with another video. And today one of my buddies is about to be showing up with one of the craziest new edge Mustangs you've probably ever seen. And before he does that, I was gonna show off this car, which I haven't shown it in a video yet. You can kind of see it in, in the background of some of my videos. But this right here is my rat sting. That's what I call it. It's a little, um, oh, I believe it's an 01 Mustang GT. I'd have to look at the title again. But it, this is a little uh, hot rod project I'll probably be tackling here in the near future. Let me walk y'all around it. This car was just a little 4.6 automatic Mustang GT convertible. I bought it as a roller. It's really the perfect setup for a ratty 302 C4 swap. I got this hood from a buddy of mine. He just gave it to me. It was just a scrap GT hood he had and he let his kids spray paint it bronze. And man, it just turned out looking sweet after it's been sitting in the elements for a while. I had to have it. And then I've got that Cobra bumper on it. I'm trying to shield the sun. You know, it's really not a bad looking start to a hot rod, but I think I hear my buddy's about to be here. So let's look at his Mustang, which is way cooler. So this here is the Crustang GT, which do you know what all is done to this car right now? Uh, it's been lowered on cut springs. It's completely gutted. Um, cold air intake, uh, loud exhaust, not really much. Have y'all ever weighed it? No, sir, we haven't. Being a convertible, you think there's a chance it's under 3,000 pounds like this? I bet it is because we, it's, it's as stripped as it can get. It sounds good coming up the road, which you said this five speed was replaced, but unfortunately it's down two gears. Three or four, yes sir. Yeah, it just has first, second, fifth, and reverse right now. They put in this transmission, but it was bad right off the bat. They, that was just an unfortunate incident. So here's its 4.6 liter two valve, basically stock. About 150,000 miles on the engine and the transmission. And if you want to talk about a modern day rat rod, I know that the rat rod scene's going strong right now, but you talk about a head turner. This car is just crazy. I'm sure y'all are wondering how the car ended up with this awesome patina look because this is not a wrap. The previous owner painted this car a different color every week no kidding with spray paint and so they were going to uh sand they well they did sand the car down they were going to repaint it but whenever it you know they sanded it down it got this awesome look to it and they had to take a trip before it was painted and they hit a bunch of salt water and that's what caused all these rust spots you see on the top so this car looks unique everybody that i know that knows this car loves it all right, do you mind if we start it up and go for a ride? Totally good. All right. That is good. Straight to fifth. Right. Yeah. It's got a little exhaust leak about right there, it sounds like. That's what they drag on the ground. Oh yeah. Yeah. Factory 
27s. He was planning to turbo it, wasn't he? Yeah. Is it tuned for the 50s? Uh, uh, you know, that's why I bet. that transmission anytime soon? Uh, as soon as I get the money, I'm going to fix it. You going to fix this one in particular? Or? Uh, yeah, so this one came out of a not gate. Oh. So it would be, that'd be a T45 still, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm really thinking about going to the Trimming uh, 3650. Yeah. yeah. That's what I got in my garage. Thank y'all for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And what do y'all think? Y'all think I should do something like that to the rat sting back here? Y'all be interested in that?